Hello, this is Alex from WNY Console Services, and today I'm going to show you how to reball a Xbox 360 motherboard. Uh, this is a fat model uh, motherboard, uh, it's known as a Zephyr or a Zypher, and it has E74. Uh, E74 uh, can be two, one of two things. It's either uh, the ED RAM is bad on the chip, and it's it, unrepairable. You have to replace the chip. Or it can be a, a false positive for like, you know, cold solder or a bridge or something like that. Uh, I don't take the risk. I'm just going to lift the chip, throw it out, and, and put a new one down. So uh, I've taped off everything. Protect the memory chips and all the surrounding uh, components. And on the bottom, I've done the same for the memory. And um, over here, I put one of my security stickers, so you don't see that I think I swapped the board or something during uh, video. I've seen a lot of BS uh, revolve videos on YouTube, so I want to make sure this is 100% legit for everybody. Okay, uh, the next step is going to be uh, putting it on the uh, rework station and um, setting up the TC. So I'm going to do that next. Okay, uh, this is the motherboard uh, in the uh, rework station. And um, if you take a look right here, I have my uh, thermal coupler. It's basically a glorified temperature sensor and it's touching the chip and the bottom of the motherboard so you can get a good uh, result okay now uh, because we're lifting the chip we're gonna use a lot of flux uh, during a reflow or something like that you wouldn't use this much uh, but we are lifting it we want to lift it nice and clean so more flux the better in my opinion on the edge and then um, once it heats up it just gets sucked in right under the chip Okay, that's all you need and then we'll take our top heater here line it up now our target temperature for lead free uh, which is what is used um, from the factory is uh, about 223 degrees Celsius. Take it a little bit higher just for a nice clean lift. Uh, I have my preheater, uh, st bottom heater, preheater set at 270 degrees Celsius and my profile is set and the ambient temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. So we're going to start the uh, profile and we'll just let that run for right now. Okay, so we're at uh, 116 degrees Celsius, or 216 degrees Celsius, and I'm just going to nudge the chip. It's ready to go. I like to twist them just a little bit like that, and that's it. turn my uh, top heater fan on and let it cool, but I'm going to let the motherboard uh, cool itself down. And uh, get a close up. Now on uh, my, um, this is an ACHI IR Pro SC, uh, however I've made some modifications, uh, like added an extra light 
and uh, I added um, a fan speed controller for the bottom um, fan here, cooling fan. So what I'm going to do is just put it on low, low, and this will cool it down faster, but not too fast. Um, get it down to about 150, and we'll add some flux. I'm out. Here's a trick a lot of people don't know about desoldering. Now, a lot of people will just drag the iron across the pads. However, if you take some lead-based solder and put a bunch down like so, you can just drag that across, and it actually sucks up the lead-free. And then you're not um, scraping the pads. Now, you're still going to have to use some wick. Uh, to get everything but this is a little bit better way you can actually you can actually kind of hear it and it's like very brittle the uh, lead free from the rapid um, heating up and cooling down Just put that aside. Now we're going to take some uh, it's Chemtronics brand uh, wick. It's the best stuff on the market. Perfect for this. It's cut into like two inch pieces. And then holding with needle nose. That's very brittle. We're going to desolder the pads. You want to go nice and slow and gentle. Because you don't want to rip them. Actually, add a little more flux here. That'll do it. And uh, while the flux is still warm, clean it up best you can. Kind of cool the board down too much. Board's at uh, 40 degrees Celsius, so take some IPA on the Q tips and just start cleaning up most of it here for right now. Just drag your finger, make sure there's no high spots or anything like that, and that's good. Get you close up here. So you can see nice and clean. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. So, next step is just going to let the board cool down a little more.
and a little bit uh, more cleaning up and then we'll uh, weld the new chip down okay now very quickly uh, this is the replacement uh, chip I'll be using now it um, they're known as pre balled chips uh, basically they're pulled from motherboards uh, desoldered and then uh, lead based solder balls attached um, now when I do reballs I always use pre balled chips it's just easier uh, if the chip I take off is good I'll just put it aside desolder it and then it, uh, attach the lead based uh, solder balls at a later date um, now basically it's pretty simple you just put the chip in the jig um, now mind you it would be desoldered you put the template over it uh, take your solder balls sprinkle them over there a little flux some heat and they reattach so just wanted to show that um, you know I don't you know it's a little bit of a time-consuming process so I just use the uh, pre balled chips um, for every reball. Okay, now we're gonna reattach the uh, new chip. So, what we're gonna do is take some flux. Uh, this is Amtec 559, by the way, and just rub it into place like so. And what else I like to do is just uh, take a little bit on the chip and just spread some flux across it. You want a thin, even coat, and that's perfect. Oh, uh, put the chip into place. I want to make sure it's lined up. It's a little bit off it's okay it's not in this case because it will shift into place but better safe than sorry take our top heater and that looks good um, for the lead weld um, our target temperature is 190 degrees Celsius uh, I like to go like 195 just a little bit extra um, ambient temperature is still the same about 25 degrees Celsius and our preheater set at 260. Okay, so we're uh, at uh, 188 degrees Celsius. Uh, again, our target temperature is 193. And we're there. Very gently, we're going to move the top heater. Turn the top heater fan on. And just let the system cool itself down. Okay, so the uh, board's at about uh, 80 degrees Celsius. And uh, I'm going to lift the tape. Never want to lift the tape right after. Believe it or not, you can actually lift up components that are on the motherboard. Comes so, up nice and easy. At this time, take some Q-tips and just get whatever you can, you know, before it dries on there. You can use a little IPA. But uh, once it's tested and everything uh, turns out okay, uh, it'll get a good scrub down. Uh, I'll give you a close up of the final results here. So that's it. Um, take it over to the bench and uh, test it out after it cools down. 
Okay, so uh, here's the motherboard. I uh, haven't cleaned it up or anything yet. Uh, I'm just going to test it to make sure it works. Uh, I'm just going to take some of this thermal paste. This is just cheapo stuff for just for bench testing. And we're just going to lay some heat sinks on top. And the moment of truth here. There we go. Green lights. Cool. Okay, so that's a uh, successful reball. Uh, the next step would be, you know, clean it up, uh, put the X clamps back on or an X clamp replacement kit, uh, and then uh, test it for a few days. Uh, if you have a broken Xbox and you'd like it reballed, uh, please visit wnyconsoleservices.com. You will be forwarded to either the website or the uh, executor ad, and then from there you can uh, contact us. Or you can call, text uh, 716-512-0177 or better yet, email info at wnyconsoleservices.com.